Hello Capricorns, welcome to Prefer Her Tarot, where I love to see that you prefer me. First, I would like to thank you guys for clicking on this video. Of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. And if you guys want to be notified when I upload new videos, go ahead and click that notification bell. So we're about to hop into the sign of Capricorn. Remember that the readings are in general. All of the messages will not resonate with everyone. Also, remember to not get caught up on the agenda of the cards. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Let's get into this reading, Capricorn, see what's going on with you guys. Let me shuffle up about two more times and we'll hop right into it. Messages for the sign of Capricorn, please and thank you. Messages for the sign of Capricorn. All right, what's the overall energy for the sign of Capricorn, please? Moving on, moving forward, we have the Chariot card. Could be dealing with uh, um, Cancer. But I see you pushing forward, determined to make something happen. Seven of Pentacles. You may have withdrawn at a point in time. You pull back. Wondering if you should um, to, should continue to invest or invest or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I see you moving on. Okay? We'll get more into that. Any challenges for Capricorn? The sun. The sun. It's the challenge for you to be happy. That's Leo energy. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Maybe feeling left out in the cold by this person. It's individual judgment card. Underneath that, making a decision to see something come towards you, communication, making something happen, going after something. We did say you going after something, right? Maybe going, hmm, movement. The sun card being a challenge. You seeing happiness in a situation. You being happy. Um, matters of the heart for Capricorn. Give me a sec. Uh, we have the eight of wands communication so you want to communicate you want to move forward once again uh you want to reach out you want someone to reach out to you five of wands willingness to fight competition battle four of wands to hold on to something and spark something new an idea all right let's get moving um any blockages for capricorn i see the emperor trying to pop out any blockages for capricorn to um for Going towards the true love and success. Blockages for Capricorn. So, you're making a decision or visualizing what you want to come towards you with the Three of Wands and the Judgment card. Being called to do something. The Six of Wands being seen, being noticed, being recognized. Going towards this new beginning that could pretty much change everything or change a lot of stuff in your life. Anyways, what needs Capricorn's attention and focus right now? The Page of Wands. You have an idea to do something with this, to make something happen. Seven of Swords. So we have the Page of Wands here, like I said. The Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Lies and deception. Someone trying to get away with something. Um, maybe the, the way you're thinking about going about a situation was is not right or was not right. Page of Swords. Watching from a distance. Needing to know more. Um, yeah. Learning. The devil card, your energy, Capricorn. This was about what you was investing into or what was this worth investing into or something. Allowing something to grow. I'm getting this energy of like, you was like, you're saying like, I had to see what was going to happen. What was I had to see what was going to happen. I had to see what was going to happen. Hmm. Anyways, let's move on. How is Capricorn being sane? The Knight of Cups in reverse. Like, no emotions, lack of emotions. <sighs> Not showing love, the Four of Swords. Standoffish, maybe, Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is in and out energy, but then it's right in between the Hermit and the Four of Swords. It's as if you're not doing what you want to do, or... Capricorn needs to rest or needs to take a break or a halt on something, but... Well, there was a need. But it's as if, like, okay, how can I explain this? like my situation that I've been through and I was discussing it. So it's it's hard 
to think straight when you're super tired. The living of the living that life of I don't know if it's just called fast life or constantly being distracted, always doing something throws you off. Like um, when it comes down to being aligned, ascending, uh, being one with the source. Because I'm getting this energy of maybe this was you in the past or this is what you're doing now in the moment. Which is which causes you probably to miss the bigger picture. Okay? So, what happens is you may move like this way you probably move. You, you get up at whatever time you get up. You, you get ready for the day. Probably within, I feel like the Capricorns, you probably have this type of energy where you may just get up and go where you, maybe 45 minutes to an hour to get ready and then go, right? And then you get to work or you do whatever you have to do and you may have children to take care of. You may have family to take care of. You may have other responsibilities, right? That you feel like is needed. Or, yeah, you, you just feel like you have to do it for whatever our reason. And some of the stuff is is needed, right? Especially when it comes down to family obligations. But then you try to maybe go kick it with friends, enjoy yourself, live, live your life or whatever. To a certain extent. Because it's not really like you doing exactly what you want to do. Because you have so many other things involved. Whether it's work, okay, let's just say it like this. Now I have to explain it a little bit deeper. Not only work, but someone may be involved in a work situation or career where they're not like 100% happy in what they're doing. Someone could be in a relationship where they're not 100% happy in that relationship, not even 80%. Someone's not comfortable, not really comfortable, not fulfilled in these certain situations. Um... Even with helping other people, it's like a thin line of what they say. Um, giving yourself and giving up yourself or something like that. You have to create boundaries to rest, to heal yourself, to meditate, to get one with source, to hear your own thoughts and stuff like that. Okay. I hope that meant some, something to someone. I just probably, I feel like that needed to come out. Let's move on. What's the advice for Capricorn? What's the advice for Capricorn? So continue to work. Continue to. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. This is focus. This is putting in work. The Moon card. Seeing through the illusions. Facing fears. Yeah, facing your fears about something. Which is about something about being happy. I don't know if you feel like you deserve to be happy. Or you deserve to be in this um, light or see, people seeing you in a certain type of light. Emperor energy, divine masculine. Could be a masculine energy here. Or just someone who's harnessing that energy right now, right? And feel like, yeah, when it comes down to opportunity and love, this is how you feel. You down. You're down. Like, why does this happen to me? And it's probably happened... Of course, in the past, right? The Five of Cups, the um, Ace of Cups, Six of Cups energy is past life energy. Um, thinking about the past or whatever. And you feel like you probably messed up. And, and you probably feel like you messed up or things just didn't um, happen the way you expected. You probably was heartbroken looking at the flaws and the, and the mishaps in the situation. In love opportunities or whatever or in a certain opportunity and someone is missing the fact that this could be in an upright knight of cups but i see you're not moving you're not making that move of showing some type of affection romance care and if you are someone that's probably like head over heels to the extent that you may not be thinking clearly. I don't know. I just feel like I needed to say that. But anyways, let's move on. <laughs> What's the most likely outcome of Capricorn follows the advice? Continue to put in work in facing your fears. Eight of Swords. Healing. 
Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords, okay? So Eight of Swords and then break it down so that half, half of that is the Four of Swords. And this is just cutting out the energy of you being worried and just taking a break and just healing and going within. And look, I love to sleep. And I'm not saying that I sleep my life away. No, I do not. But if I'm tired, I'm going to sleep. That's why I love like what I do. And because I'm not really on anyone else's schedule, I create my own schedule or whatever. Even though I do have deadlines or whatnot, but if I'm tired, I'm tired, and I'm not gonna just fight my body or fight my mental or any like anything like that to make something happen to to be on someone else's deadline. Or something. No, mm -mm. take a break. I would take a break because that what it does. What does it do? It puts you in this eight of swords energy, self imposed imprisonment. I don't want to do this energy. I don't want to be here. Why am I doing this? It's time to get up out of that energy. Take a break. And start manifesting something different because that's what the en the energy is around us. Source is providing this to yes, providing us with this energy to take our time with moving forward. Yes, you may feel like you don't have enough that probably lack lack thereof, man. So, but guess what? Guess what? We have the world card behind it. We're closing that energy. You're closing that energy because you're going towards success, abundance mindset. Anyways, let's move on. Clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot, please, and thank you. We have the Eight of Cups. Walking away from people, place things that do not do not serve you in order to move forward. And someone is going back to this person in the past or whatever that was happening in the past. A situation in the past with the Six of Cups here at the bottom of the day. Nine of Wands. Someone do, do not want to give up. They don't want to give up. Um, give me a second. I need some water. But yes, I hate to drink it. I, this is the big bottle. I can't stand drinking a big bottle on screen. So let's see. All right. <laughs> My video is about to be interrupted anyway. So, hey, I'm back. Eight of Cups, though, clarifying that um, chariot card. I feel like someone is going back to their past because of that six of, cup, six, of cup, six of Cups here at the bottom of the day. Someone may be returning. Someone may be returning to you or you may be returning to another person because, like, this energy of I don't want to give up on this... I don't want to, someone is, is exhausted, but they don't want to give up. I feel like this one last chance, one last opportunity to manifest something different here. Anyways, we're probably, could be, what's for you is for you. Let's just say that. Clarify the sun. The empress. The challenge, the empress, the sun, the king of cups at the bottom of the deck. Here's the Empress. Divine feminine energy. Like, I'm really feeling like someone is feeling like I do I do I deserve this. Someone has felt like they did not deserve to be happy and new beginnings and fertility and, and prosperity and abundance. Someone feel like they didn't deserve this. But like low key, you always had this hope. It was always there. You can act like it wasn't. Um, you may have told your friends or whoever, hey, whatever, that's not for me. It's not gonna happen. But you always have hope. You always had the hope. It was always there. But you wasn't quite sure about the changes you had to make. And I feel like someone is now realizing, like, there are some changes that I need to make or realize the changes that you needed to make in, in order to make this happen. And basically, it's walking away from those people, places, and things that did not serve you. Mis mishaps and messy situations. Like, whatever. It happened. It happened. All of those options, illusions, mixed emotions, flawed situations you learn it from them you keeping it moving all right clear about the eight of wands could be a libra involved also with the emperor's card clarify the eight of wands or taurus clarify the eight of wands as he matters of the heart for capricorn the seven of swords nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck that's you, single, independent, facing illusions. It's something unclear. You feel like something is unclear or there's just a need to face some illusions. I don't, I don't know if there's someone trying to communicate after being a little bit deceptive and, and not being honest or... Yeah, because I don't feel like you 
I don't feel like someone lied. You really lied. I feel like this is the energy of not just telling it, not telling the whole truth, okay? Not telling the whole truth. Not being 100. If you get what I mean, okay? Because maybe someone felt as if when I'm single, I could keep certain things hidden. Or felt like they were single and they could have... And they could keep certain things hidden. Let's move on. Clarify the judgment in the three of wands. As the, what is this? The challenges? No, the blockages. The true love and success. Clarify the three of wands and the judgment card. Justice, Libra. So someone could be choosing a Libra. But someone's called, being called to make some type of amends. Balancing out a situation. I did say someone may be going back to the past or someone is returning. The hanging man gaining a new perspective. Someone has gained a new perspective after a lot of worry and doubt. About, guess what it's about? Equal give and take. Receiving what you deserve. Capricorn, why do you feel like you don't deserve true love, happiness, whatever it is, is success? Why do you feel it? What? I just want to know. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Why do you feel that way? You shouldn't feel that way. It's okay. People mess up. We have mishaps. It's life. That's an old way of thinking, all right? We're going towards something new. Let's move on. Why is the page of wands here? The magician manifesting. What needs your focus and attention? You manifesting. You taking this opportunity. You have this idea, this creative idea that you have to make something happen. Hey, use the energy around you to do it. We have the seven of cups here at the bottom of the deck. This is, this is the mixed emotions and illusions, so whatever, needing to choose, having different options. But what I feel here, <laughs> with the Ten of Pentacles behind it, it's a million ways to get it, okay? I, I don't know if you guys remember that song or whatever. It's a million ways to get it. It really is. Um, Ten of Wands. This is burning some cycles, coming to a close, putting in that work, whatever several jobs several several um, um ways or sources of receiving income receiving income seven sources of in several several sources of income you guys two of sources two of swords and decisiveness about love and going with them because about hurt This isn't, this isn't about just a million ways to get money. It's a million ways to get true love and success. Lies, lies. I cannot say that. It is to a certain extent. But, but, but sometimes it's just a certain set of individuals in our life that we're going to come across and we're supposed to learn from. And, we, and maybe it's a certain, certain one, a certain individual that we're supposed to be with and we, we connect with or whatever. Um... The, the way to love is just unconditional. That's it. That's the way I see it. The way to love is unconditional. Oh. So, yeah. The whole, um, yeah, setup almost fell. So, I don't know if that meant something to someone. But, um, I feel like this energy, you have to be willing to put in that work. You have to be willing to put in that work to actually get that true love and success. Um, let's move on. I'm getting a brain fart. Why is the Knight of Cups in reverse? 
12, I like the Knight of Cups in reverse. So, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn towards Virgo, your energy. Six of Wands, six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Being seen, being noticed, being recognized, victory after battle. But here we go with the Queen of Pentacles, you. This is how you're being seen. Guess what? You know, I already feel here is that you're giving, not receiving. But you deserve. That's it. Like, that just keep coming out. Keep It just keeps coming out. You're giving, not receiving, but you deserve. You deserve it. It's an opportunity here. Accept it. Allow something to happen. Allow something to change. Transform. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, being logical, being clear, something being said, communication, the full card taking a leap of What are you taking a leap of faith towards? A connection? Soulmate connection? Eye to eye? You seeing eye to eye with a person. Someone may be watching from a distance, not saying much, but can't stop thinking about this individual. Can't stop thinking about this person, the love that they have for them. Oh my goodness, goodness, the willingness, the the willingness to fight, the things that you, you if someone is kind of like, I I had to fight for this. I know I had to fight for this. And what does it have? What I want? And what does it have? This, this this connection. If I really want this, I got to fight for this. Okay. Someone's about ready to put in some words to communicate. Maybe. All right. Clarify the eight of swords and the four of swords as the outcome. The hermit card in reverse. So, what I feel here is at the prayer, meditation coming out of your head, getting out of that self imposed imprisonment energy, getting that rest, breathing, okay, we're getting some peace and see your life. We come out of the hermit mode position, Virgo energy. You coming out of that energy of being to yourself. <laughs> Once again, I'm relating with you guys. Just blossoming and showing people who you are and speaking and accepting maybe dates or whatever let's go out let's kick it let's chill i've been to myself so so like um i don't know how to explain it but yeah i've so much <laughs> simple i've been to myself so much i wasn't even really going out with family members like i was just nope i'm good no reason don't even really want to kick it but time to come out of hermit mode right Come out of hermit mode. Page of Cups. The offers are here. People don't want to give up. It's time, time for some type of change and transformation in your life. And this is being open up to open to love. Okay, with the page of page of cups. King of Cups. Yes, control your emotions. Emotions. You've grown. You're growing. Emotionally mature here. But but go after what you want. Be that go-getter that you are. Have that strength. Confidence, composure, to balance things out. Having that hope and faith that things are going to come towards you. Let's get moving and get some more. Clarify it. Clarify the Empress. Clarify the Empress, please and thank you. Capricorn, like, I really like this reading low key. The Two of Cups. The Two of Cups. But once again, this is in a challenge position. Some of you guys have been waiting on this energy, wondering if you deserve it. Like I said, I really think this is something from the past, someone you, you've known before, or whoever you meet, you're going to be like, I, I've known you. Where do I know you from? <laughs> the high priestess is annoying. That's annoying. And you want to take that risk. Because you feel that energy of like, dang, we connect giving each other attention attention or whatever a great opportunity that can change something i feel but i re i feel like someone has to has to realize that you're deserving of it clarify the justice card page of swords learning new things learning to go after what you want watching i really feel like this was at a point in time with the blockage or it could be right now watching and not doing Knowing that something needs to happen, knowing that balance needs to happen, knowing that change needs to happen, knowing that um, it's time to make a decision 
And at some point in time, I feel like someone probably was not doing it because maybe a lack of strength and courage and confidence. Clarify the magician. What's coming out here? The Nine of Cups. Come on now, it's time for you to manifest your happiness. Loving, you're loving yourself, loving yourself to love another. Nine of Swords, I see you being worried. I see you being worried about feeling like you don't have enough. Maybe to be the match to this Empress energy. I don't know who this is. But it's time to communicate. This is communicating, going after what you want. Um, the willingness to fight for what? The lovers. The lovers. Moving on. Why is the Hermit card in reverse? Nothing flipped. Clarify the Hermit in reverse. Clarify the Hermit card in reverse for Capricorn. The Ace of Pentacles. New opportunity. The Tower card. Someone is probably about to accept this opportunity or offer this. Oh, give this opportunity to change everything. There you go. Look at you. What is this? This is the king of um, pentacles. The match to this queen of pentacles here. And this is how you're being seen, right? Maybe giving and not receiving what you deserve, like I was saying. Or not showing the love or whatever. This king of pentacles here. Loyal, committed, stable. Provider. Is gaining a new perspective. Seeing things different. Has been through a teaching and learning experience. To receive a peace of mind. And allow fortunate change to happen. Taking a different approach on a situation. After being hurt and heartbroken. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. Um, Scorpio energy. What are you towering out? What is source towering out here? What do you guys think this is? I'm going to tell you though. <laughs> Duh, I got to tell you. The nine of swords. Towering out the worry, anxiety, depression. Up at night not knowing what to do. Scared. Oh my goodness. Why? We have the Seven of Cups here back at the bottom of the deck. Confusion. Mixed emotions. Back to... Okay, see, this was coming to me early when I seen this, these few cards together. And I kind of got that brain fart, brain fart, whatever it was I said. But what I'm receiving is, is that... um. Someone thought that they can receive this success feeling. I don't know. <laughs> Empire legacy energy with several individuals. Like someone thought of them being a player. Receiving attention from all these individuals or going out and having fun with all these individuals and feeling like making everyone feel like they was the one type of energy was going to make them successful. But it didn't, didn't do anything but bring, but bring a lot of burdens. Yeah, no one wants that. Nobody gets time for that. That's why I dropped all masks. No. <laughs> Anyways, let's move on. I want to do one more clarify. What is this Seven of Swords? Clarify the Seven of Swords, the Five of Pentacles. Matters of the heart. I really feel like someone wants to communicate the fact that they were not truthful. Truthful. They they did feel like they were less than or they left a person out in the cold. Something happened. Well, I feel a person took a loss or something. It's just going to be. Oh, my goodness. This is so emotional. Come on now. We have the Ace of Swords here. Truth and clarity. Someone is about to receive some truth. Yeah, this person was worried. Someone knew that they were not being honest and lied or wasn't being truthful in the connection or whatever and it was bringing a lot of worry to this person it, that's what brought the self-imposed imprisonment energy the truth is i'm about to tell you the truth <laughs> the truth is capricorn i really feel like this is either you or somebody this is you this is your energy okay we say it matters of the heart for capricorn we have the four of the four of wands in the in the the um star card didn't I say that deep down, someone always had hope and faith that they wanted to find true love, they had to have a connection, love, divinity, soulmate connection, where no one could just break this apart 
And when people look at you guys together, it's just like, oh my goodness, that's amazing. I would love to have something like that. And I'm not talking about just the pictures, picture-perfect situations that we be seeing on Instagram and Facebook or wherever else you see stuff at. Because we, I'm talking about the real deal Holyfield situations where you know, okay, they probably been through some ish, but they made it through and they looking real good. The glow up is real type of energy or whatever it is. Let's get an oracle. <laughs> Let's get an oracle message for our word Capricorns. Star seed. So star seed oracle. This is calling me. Let's see what's going on over here. What message do you have for our Capricorns? What message do you have for the sign of Capricorn? Please and thank you. Message for the sign of Capricorn. Please and thank you. I thought I was going to be successful. Probably having, you know, HOEs and stuff. I swear, I thought I was, what? I was what age thinking I was a pimp? I don't know what you heard about me. But that was a song, right? You got to watch what you're listening to. <laughs> I was drunk to see it talking about I was a pimp. A pimp. Didn't even know what a pimp truly was. And I really thought, think I was going to be a pimp at what? 19, 11, 12, whatever age I was. Pimping. Pimping. I even I was drinking the pimp juice. Now, <laughs> no, I was really drinking the pimp juice. Y'all remember when that came out? I don't know if you remember, but anyways, portal doors are opening. You decide rewards. Wild card, Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, we have star ancestors, hidden secrets, lost wisdom. Wisdom, look a little deeper. And I feel like that's gonna come in with your prayer and meditation, all that you're um, um, going through. When, you, when it comes down to going within and being alone and in that hermit mode, whatever that you've been in, but someone is about to come out and you're about to be saying, being noticed and recognized, I feel. But let's read Portal. Doors are opening. You decide. You decide. Rewards. Wild card. Doors are opening for you. Your thoughts are extra powerful for you right now. Planets are aligning. The timing is right. The universe is saying, yes, you have the Midas touch. You are work. Your work your hard work is being rewarded. This is a time when you can reap the rewards for efforts made in the past. It's also a time when you can achieve a lot. Great leaps can be made. Extreme transformation can occur. Great distances can be traveled in a, in a short space of time. You're swimming with the cosmic current of life. What experience would you like to have? What do you want to create? What new adventure would you like to manifest? This is crazy. I like how it's lining up. Don't lose focus. Use this moment and time wisely. Be conscious and clear with your emotions and thinking. Projects that you've been working on are coming to fruition. Things are in full bloom. It's time for you to take. It's time to take your harvest and taste your well-earned fruits. When this card comes up in the spread, it's sure. It's a sure sign that effortless change is possible. If you've been looking for a sign, this is your portal into that new reality this is the time to make big changes if you've been guided to switch things up you're extremely well supported right now use this energy and jump right on in what would you like to mo what would you most like to experience so um that just made me think about the lion's gate energy that we're in right now right i think we got we have like one more day or something take advantage take advantage um let's do one more Do I just read? Let's see. Let's just read the No. I'm thinking, should I just read the one at the bottom of the deck? No. Let's read another one. Message for the sign of Capricorn. Let's see what else comes out with the sign of Capricorn. And it's spread. All right, here we go. Any other messages for the sign of Capricorn for this spread? Excuse me. Any other messages for the sign of Capricorn for this spread? Any other messages for the sign of Capricorn? Yes. A change in the wind. You know something is changing. The treasure island at the bottom of the deck. And I feel like it's going to be positive changes. Of course. Um, blessings. All that good stuff. Mending. Underneath that. 
But let's read change, a change in the wind. You may not want to change. You may not be ready for it. Or you feel like you're not ready. But come on, it's time to change. Time to push through. Number 12. A sense that unseen, unseen change has been initiated. Preparation for a storm. Awareness that your plans are not on firm ground. Feeling a shift. Uncertainty about which direction the wind will blow. And Okay. Didn't I see the tower card come out for you guys? I thought I did. I thought I did. Yes, I did. It is. It's right here. But anyways. Um, the... It's human nature to yearn for certainty and resist change, to want the world to remain co consistent like a zebra stripes, yet nothing in human experience is black and white, nor will anything remain static. The one thing guaranteed is change. Now is a time of transformation as outer conditions are temporarily moving out of sync with your desires and expectations. Stay the course and remember that even, even storms serve to clear the air, scatter seeds, and nourish the soil. For better things ahead. Life is about to get real interesting. And it don't even say real interesting. But I felt I needed to say that. <laughs> Anticipate it with curiosity as you wonder what is coming. And in, in, in on the shifting winds. The unknown is where the magic lies. I heard something earlier about transformation. God and transformation. God and transformation. It was something about God and transformation. And basically, oh... It was almost as if it wasn't these words, but it basically basically this. God loves to show its creation and transformation through us, so others can see that change and like, wow, God did that. Yeah, God did that. I didn't just do it for myself. Yes, it was part of my knowing and the steps that I took and the discipline or whatever. But yeah, God did that. And if God could do that for me, God could do it for you. Type of energy, right? have you believe in the source the creator the universe whatever it is but it's possible it's all about harnessing that energy magician allowing that shift to happen this tower, and then allowing things to come back together with source anyways let's move on <laughs> let's move on relationship message relationships go through periods where partners seem out of sync with each other and stormy emotions and moves threaten to take each take down the ship let me just read that one more time. Relationships go through periods where partners seem out of sync with each other. And stormy emotions and moods threaten to take down the ship. Perhaps someone has a change of heart and leaves. These rough seas offer opportunities for mutual growth. A way for you to understand your own heart better and to know what you need to be truly happy. Rest assured that whatever is happening now, good will come from it. Take temporary shelter and remove yourself from drama. The air will clear and everything will fresh. Everything will be fresh and new again. This too shall pass. As you endeavor to create a prosperous life, this is the prosperity message, you may encounter un unexpected reversals that cause you to shift directions. This is a good thing, so there is nothing to fear. Perhaps an opportunity you sought went to someone else. Perhaps you pursued something that you suddenly realize is not in your highest good. You might be 100% clear on where you need to go, but... You are certain you may not be 100% clear on where you need to go, but you are certain that things are not going as planned. Circumstances are not in your control right now. Wait it out. All is well. All will be well, even better. Actually, trust. That's what it says. All will be well, even better. Actually, trust. I'm leaving it here, Capricorn. That was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if it resonated, how it resonated. Leave it like, shares, all of that good stuff. I love y'all, love y'all, love you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.